All right, guys. Welcome to. God, kids are screaming outside. Not a fan of kids, if you didn't know that. All right. Welcome to the first episode of how I screwed up my training when I just started out. I wouldn't say that I really screwed up my training, and I do want to start by saying any training, any any training, any nutrition diet plan health plan activity is good. But I do think I generally had some parts of my training and just beginning journey that I did screw up quite a bit. Obviously it still worked out. This is still my life now. Um, I'm a coach now, I'm a personal trainer. Uh, I talked to you guys about this. So I didn't screw it up too badly. And there's actually some things that I'm pretty proud of that I did right. Maybe that will be for another video. But today I'm gonna talk about the five, five things that I feel like I messed up when I first started out my training. Some things that actually led to some pretty bad results for, uh, for a period of time, right? Let's go ahead and get started. Before I get started, I wanna hear from you guys what your mistakes were when you first started in the gym. But I'd like to hear your biggest mistake or when you got started. Leave it in the comment below. Let me know what it is. Maybe I did it as well and I'll let you know what I think of it. So, number one, this is just a very general thing that I feel like I messed up uh, and something that I feel is probably very common, which I guess is why I'm leading off with it, but not having a plan. So when I started going to the gym, I would just show up and I would just, I don't, I don't really remember what I would do. I know I didn't have a plan. I wasn't following any type of program. Um, I didn't have a, a coach telling me what to do. That's another issue, but I, I didn't, I didn't go into it with a goal with something in mind each day this is what I'm working on this is why I'm here to get better uh, it was probably more of just like this is what my friends are doing this day and this is what I'm gonna train and I really don't think it was very structured it wasn't well thought out I didn't have a, a method to what I was doing so that's number one I feel like I could have made much greater progress had I actually had a, a very specific goal that I was working towards okay now number two uh, this was a big problem now that I look back and this was also a huge problem or is a huge problem Now that I can see it on the outside This is that I was coached by people who shouldn't have been coaching anybody um, People that I viewed in my mind as having experience and knowing what they were doing And so I allowed them to coach me talk me through uh, pointers tips um, part, parts of my training, give me exercises, give me form critiques. And now that I see this happening in the gym every single day, I realize that this happened to me when I was in high school and that I was taking tips from people who were not qualified to be giving me pointers. But these were just friends that were maybe on my team or that I went to school with and they were generally a year older than me, two years older than me, and I viewed them as being some knowledgeable gym person because they were maybe a little bit bigger than me but they were probably just a little bit more developed because of age and they were giving me pointers that I can only imagine were not the best tips and when it's small things like how to do a tricep push down or things maybe how to do some ab workouts or something like that then it's okay but when you have someone who doesn't know what they're doing teaching you how to squat and deadlift and bench and do these dangerous movements it can lead to some bad things. And I also see this with people who are trying to train somebody that they like. So I see a lot of guys trying to tell these girls that they're interested in, oh yeah, I work out, come to the gym with me, let's go train. And then I watch them training these, these females and it's, it's horrendous to watch because the guys don't know what they're doing and then they're projecting their wrong understanding of, of mechanics on the girls and then the girls are loading on weight to impress the guys. The guys are loading on weight to impress the girls. And it's just a recipe for disaster when it comes to hurting yourself. So please, please, please try and evaluate the people that you're working with in the gym. It's totally okay to go to the gym with somebody who doesn't know 100% what they're doing. That's totally fine. Workout partners are amazing if they can help push you and make you better. And tackling problems together can be a good solution, but completely listening and taking their advice 100% of the way can be dangerous. So 
evaluate who you're working with, who you're listening to, do your own research, I would suggest. So YouTube videos, hire your own coach, take resources from different areas, compare those and get a better understanding of what's actually happened, who's t happening, who's teaching you, and if you should really be listening to these people, all right? So that's number two. Okay, that rolls us into number three, which I touched on a little bit before, but it's that I had very little interest at first in, in perfecting my form and, and improving my form and understanding what safe what a safe lift meant, not only for my back, but for my shoulders and for my elbows and for my whole body. What a safe lift truly meant and what what were the foundational mechanics that drove all of those movements and exercises and and I could have kept my knees safer and my back safer and my shoulders safer had I really understood what I was doing. Really take the time on each exercise to understand what the proper mechanics are, all right? And this is as simple as watching YouTube videos in between sets. And this is what I started doing as I started training more and more, is I would do a set, I would sit down, get on my phone, watch a video, read an article, um, learn something about the specific movement or uh, exercise or program that I was working on, all right? Get in a better understanding, what was I doing right, what was I doing wrong, uh, and that was really helpful in my understanding of my mechanics but this took me a while to do so I didn't hire the personal trainer um, I wasn't really focused on my mechanics I can remember several exercises where I know I was doing them wrong and even for years into my lifting I know I was doing some of these movements wrong and it was only in the last three to four years that I started to realize that I was doing a lot of things wrong and that I wasn't focused on the right things and I didn't have the appropriate understanding of the mechanics of my body and how to move properly and stay safe and stay healthy. So, especially on your heavy compound movement. So, squats, deadlift, bench, overhead press, bent over rows. I've hurt myself on bent over rows before. Try and really understand what you're doing, what needs to be done on these movements, how you can hurt yourself, how you can mitigate the risk of those injuries. So, that was three. Number four is probably biggest one that can get you in trouble and that is ego lifting. What I mean by that is only being focused on the amount of weight that you're putting up. So not caring about form, not caring about how it's actually working for your body, if it's even working the right muscles, but just trying to go as heavy as possible. And whether that to be to impress your friends, your workout buddies, some girl or guy you're trying to impress, or just random people in the gym, which happens all the time. And I've seen it, I've done it, and I've seen other people do it. Definitely did this when I was younger, for sure, for sure. And it actually got worse. So when I first started, it was okay because I wasn't very strong at all. I could bench the bar, maybe a 10 pound on each side. Um, and I knew if I went any heavier, I was just gonna get crushed under it, right? I couldn't even pick it up, I couldn't squat very heavy. But actually a couple years into my lifting, I started to get a little bit stronger and that boosted my ego and I started going heavier and heavier and heavier on certain movements and I would be thinking that I was getting stronger and in reality, I was just letting my form go to shit, all right? So I thought I was getting stronger, I put more plates on, more plates on and it really wasn't doing anything and I can remember in college, I was doing landmine rows, I was trying to impress some girls in the gym, put a bunch of plates on, went to pick it up, and I think I got it off the ground. I did one row and tweaked my lower back. I, oh, it was bad, really bad. I had to drop the weight back on the ground and I actually had to lay on the floor for 10 minutes in front of these girls that I was trying to impress in the first place. It really hurt my back for months, three months. I think I had, had pain in my lower back. And I think that was probably, probably flipped a switch when it came to understanding why I screwed up my back, but also realizing that I should never ever lift to try and impress anybody in the gym ever again in my entire life. It's stupid, it's pointless. So focus on your form. Don't try and lift too heavy. You're gonna hurt yourself. It's not gonna end well and you'll make less progress going too heavy and going through a shorter range of motion. So go lighter, feel the muscles working, do that. Okay, so those are my five. Um, and 
that's about it. Five things I kind of screwed up. Um, the, the ego lifting, the not focus on my form. I've hurt myself more times than I'd like to be proud to say. Um, but I've learned from it. I've been fairly healthy the last few years. Um, I am dealing with a little bit of a shoulder thing right now, but that's because I did something stupid with a home workout, which I learned from as well. Perfect. All right. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped. Go ahead and like if you liked it. Comment if you want. Subscribe, please. I'm starting to do a lot more videos. Feeling good about this. Videos are coming out much more often. I'd like to hear what you guys want to see. And that's it for me. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And hope help. See you later.